Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Megan. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe below. We do a ton of Nespresso content as well as unboxings of subscription boxes and hauls. So today we are going to be doing a Nespresso review and I am super excited to show you guys what I finally got in the mail. So as you know, their Nespresso releases holiday pods every year and they've also been doing some extra releases this year. I'm not really sure what it's been like in past years since I did get my Nespresso machine last like December time frame. The Christmas pods this year are Forest Black and what they say about this one is Forest Black's Arabicas from Colombia and beyond grow in sheltering shade of a canopy of trees that protect the flavors hidden in each bean. Experience this coffee's alluring spice and cereal notes amidst exotic woody aromas that celebrate the magic and timelessness of the forest. So uh, the theme this year is rainforest. I, I think that's probably because of where they got the beans from and the boxes kind of reflect that and they're really neat and the advent calendar also kind of looks like this as well. I think for Virtuo, there's like a Virtuo one and a original line one and one is red and one is green. Um, I can't remember which is which, but this, the pods are all coffee sizes. This one is a six out of 11 intensity. And then what it looks like is this. So kind of just another foresty thing matches the uh, box itself. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. So the next one is forest fruit flavor. So this one is the one that has like fruity notes and a lot of people were hoping it would be similar to pod from like many years ago that a lot of people like love a lot called vanilla princess cake I think or VPC for short but I've heard that it doesn't really it's a little bit different from that. I've never tried it so I don't know. <laughs> So the clear path this season for the enchanting tastes of forest fruit flavor, the Latin American and African Arabica's smooth cereal character takes on a festive sweet pastry note with juicy berry aromas running through the season's flavor coffee. And then this is also a coffee one, uh, I guess because it's a flavored one, they don't give us an intensity on this one, but it is a coffee size. And this is what it looks like. So again, just like matches the box with the rainforesty plants on it and just says the pot on it there. So then the last one is called Forest Almond. And last year there was a pod called like Amaretti or something or Amaretto, which was also kind of an almond flavor. And people were hoping, I think some people really liked that pod, so they were hoping this would be similar to that. And I think it is also just a little bit different, but I, I've heard good things about this one, so I'm excited about it. They say, forest almond flavor is the forager's delight this season. We gather a sweet and nutty flavor into this coffee's Latin American and African Arabicas. Get ready to uncover almond notes marked by vanilla and a light fruitiness in the coffee's smooth cereal character. So I'm pretty excited to try these pods. Oh, this one has like birds on it. So that's really cool. Cause you know, rainforest, there's lots of birds. And it also again matches and just like has a golden brown on this one. What I'm gonna do is brew. I think I'm probably just gonna try all of them. So I'm gonna brew all of them and we're gonna see how we like them. I'm probably gonna add, after we try them black, add something to them and uh, we'll see how that goes. So I will see you in a minute. Okay, so I have brewed two of them so far. So this one is the almond cake one, or no, almond cake is the wrong word. Uh, forest almond. <laughs> uh, so that's this pod. And when it brewed, you could definitely smell like the nuttiness and it was like sweet too. Um, so I'm pretty excited to try it out. And this one also said it had vanilla notes. So we're gonna see how that is. You can definitely taste the nuttiness. It's very bitter. Like, again, I've said this before, but I don't like black coffee. So it's very bitter. I think that adding some milk and um, some syrup will make it better. So what I was thinking is I'm just gonna pour, since it's coffee, I'm not gonna 
use the frother. I'm going to pour some of this into the coffee and then I think I'm going to add some vanilla syrup since it has like vanilla notes. So I'm going to use my skinny syrups. And if you want to try different uh, vanilla syrups, I do have a video about vanilla syrups, uh, which I will link for you. Okay, so I did like a little bit less than two pumps and then I don't know how much milk. I kind of just eyeball it when I use coffee. It's good. You can definitely still taste like the almond like nuttiness, I'm adding those, the syrup and the milk to it. So it's pretty good. I think I added a little bit too much syrup. I should have gone less first, but it's really good though. So definitely a winner. Okay. The next one is the forest fruit one. So you can definitely like smell the fruitiness in it. I think I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like cherry or raspberry. I would say that it's tasting it. You don't really get it as much with the black coffee, but you can smell it. I would say it's pretty faint. So I think what I was thinking of doing is adding Monin dark chocolate. This is from the, I believe the holiday like sample pack. So I have some other syrups I will be trying with you guys eventually. And I'm gonna add some of that same milk. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Let's just stir it in a little bit. I feel like I can taste the fruitiness a little bit more. I wouldn't say I like prefer the fruitiness. It's not my favorite way to drink co coffee with like fruity notes, but it's interesting. I'm glad I tried it. Uh, it definitely is good with the dark chocolate syrup. It's not like too sweet adding that one. I like it. So now I'm going to brew the forest black one and I'll be right back. Okay. So this is the forest black. It's supposed to have like spiced notes, I think with like the cereal notes. definitely taste like the woodiness. I feel like those like woody like spicy notes are a little bit more than I'm used to in coffee but I don't hate it. I definitely I think I like this more than the forest fruit. The fruit flavors in coffee to me are just a little not what I'm looking for but I think what I want to add to this um, to try is I think this is I can't remember if this is the holiday or fall sample pack but this is cinnamon bun um, from the Monin like sample pack. And um, I'm putting about a tablespoon in. That's what I did for the dark chocolate as well. If you don't feel like getting a measuring device uh, and it's just been opened, the little small ones, a tablespoon is like about where the neck starts to get a little bit bigger above like the label. In case you were wondering. <laughs> Yeah, it's good like because this is mostly like cinnamon flavored yeah it's like sweet because of the cinnamon bun part it definitely just like adds to the flavor of the forest black i would definitely recommend that one for this if you're trying to add some like sweetener yeah this is good i'm struggling because i like really wanted to like the almond one a lot and i do like it i think i need to put less syrup in it next time but i'm just the flavored coffees themselves to me sometimes are just like a little bit artificial and I add syrups though so I don't know why it's like different for me like when I add a syrup that's flavored I like it usually a little bit more than with like a flavored coffee of the two flavored ones the almond uh forest almond one is definitely my favorite one but I do think forest black is like my favorite of all of them but it's nothing I wouldn't say it's like anything special in my opinion, for like a Christmas coffee, I'm not gonna like go and buy another sleeve of it probably because I do have other coffees that I like to um, have from Nespresso. So definitely nice to have. I did want to mention when I received my order, the box was a little bit crushed because 
uh, it was obviously from like transit and I called Nespresso asking if they could help me out because a couple of the sleeves were crushed, not all of them though. And I had the order I placed, I also ordered like Melosio and Stormio. So they're sending me two replacement sleeves for the ones that were a little bit crushed and just want to shout out how great Nespresso's customer service is. If you ever have a problem, definitely reach out to them. So yeah. Have you guys tried any of the Christmas pods yet? Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you next time.